This video is sponsored by GrowAce.com. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? Bass Drop Keys, your friendly neighborhood, Negro. And in today's video, we're starting a new grow on the channel. This grow is sponsored by GrowAce.com. We're gonna be doing a grow in their brand new Air Cube Ebb and Flow system. If you're watching this video and it's the reason why you're gonna get an Air Cube system, click the link that's in the description. Use the coupon code to get a 5% discount on your Air Cube system. I wanna thank them for making me the first YouTuber that they've given a system to. We're not only gonna review it, we're actually gonna do a full grow with this system. Now let's get to the video. So the first thing that we have to do when we're setting up the air cube system is we need to set up the reservoir. The reservoir that comes with the system is the pop tank from air cube. There's a couple steps to set up the reservoir. The first one is we need to fit the outlet tap. You're going to push the outlet tap through the flexible reservoir, fitting the rubber washer on the outside and inside of the flexible reservoir. Then you're going to tighten it up as tight as you can by hand. Next, you're gonna take three of the six support poles and you're gonna put the connector onto it. Once you do that, now we need to put the support poles inside the reservoir. Once you look inside the reservoir, you're gonna see spots where the poles go. You're gonna take half of the support pole with the connector on it and put it in the bottom of the reservoir. Then you're gonna take the other pole and put it through the top of the upper ring that's right above the pole and put the pole in the connector. Once you do that, you'll be able to bring the reservoir up to the top. Then you're gonna screw on the pole locking nut and it'll stay in place. Once you have that done the first time, you're gonna have to do it two more times. Once you have the support poles in place, now the reservoir will stand up on its own. One thing I wanna caution you guys is never ever drag or move the reservoir whenever it has water in it. You need to completely drain the reservoir if you wanna move it. Make sure you don't move it while it's full of water. Now, once you do that, what you need to do is you need to make sure that your tap is in the closed position, which means that it's not gonna be pointed at the reservoir. It should be pointed to the left and the right, the two ears on the tap. Make sure it's in the closed position. And then once you do that, you wanna twist the tap to make sure that it's facing the right way and we have our reservoir set up. About to hit a J right now. About to hit a blood right now. About to hit a bowl right now. About to hit a dad right now. About to hit a J right now. About to hit a blood right now. About to hit a bowl right now. About to hit a dad right now. I smoke to clear my mind. I smoke to realize. I smoke to empathize. They need to legalize. I smoke to clear my mind. I smoke to realize. I smoke to empathize. They need to legalize. All right, so we just got finished unpacking the brain module and the buckets. Let's go ahead and set up the brain controller. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find the stoppers and you're going to find the grommets. I'm showing you them right now. On the side of the brain controller, you see those holes. There's three holes on either side. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna put those grommets in each hole. Once you have that done, the stoppers are gonna go on the back two holes. The ones that's furthest away from the controller, that's where the stoppers go. Then you're gonna find the straight connectors and you're gonna stick those in the holes as closest to the controller. You will also take two grommets and straight connectors and you're gonna put them in the holes that's on the top of the lid of the brain module. Once you do that, you're gonna find a water pump. It's gonna be our drain pump. You're gonna put it in the bottom of the brain module. You're gonna take the tubing, measure and cut it. You're gonna take the tubing and you're gonna make sure that it goes from the drain pump at the bottom of the controller to one of the straight connectors that's at the bottom of the lid. Once you do that, you can plug the drain pump into the outlet on the side of the controller labeled drain pump. Now we need to set up the reservoir to work with the system. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the other pump, that's gonna be our fill pump, and you're gonna put the tubing on the fill pump and put it at the bottom of the reservoir. Now the next step is very important. You're gonna take the tubing puncture tool that they give you in the pack, and you're gonna put a small hole in the tubing that's inside the reservoir 
near the highest point of the tubing where it enters the reservoir, pick a spot and you wanna put a hole right in there. Then you're gonna take the vacuum brake barbed elbow, stick it in the hole and you wanna point it down. That's gonna prevent the water from siphoning back in. Once you do that, you're gonna plug the fill pump into the outlet on the side of the controller that's labeled fill pump. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tubing that's in the pump at the bottom of the reservoir and you're gonna attach that to the brain module. Put it on the straight connector that's not attached to the drain pump. So once again, put it on the straight connector that's not attached to the drain pump. So if you remember, we attached the drain pump on the straight connector that's on the right, the furthest one. So now I'm putting the fill pump and I'm connecting that to the other straight connector, just like you see there. Now you're gonna take some more tubing and you're going to connect it to the other straight connector and that's gonna go in the bottom of your reservoir. That's your drain pump. So we need to have tubing that's gonna allow it to drain back in the reservoir once it's finished. So take the tubing, put it on the straight connector that's attached to the drain pump and put it in the bottom of the reservoir. Now we have our reservoir connected to our brain controller. The next thing that we have to do is we have to set up the buckets. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the buckets over and you're gonna insert the grommets on the bottom of each bucket. Then you're gonna insert the T connectors in the grommets on the bottom of the bucket. You're gonna set it up in whatever configuration you need to set it up in. As you can see, there's spots on all sides of the bucket so you have the flexibility of going whichever way you want to, and you can set it up however you need to. You're gonna connect the buckets to one another using the tubing. It's recommended to create a complete loop if you can, so that's what we're gonna do. You can see me cutting the tubing, attaching it to each bucket, and then when I get to the end on the right, I'm making a loop right there, attach it to the rest of the buckets, and then once that happens, then what we need to do is we need to connect the buckets to the brain controller. So those two straight connectors that we put on the brain controller, you're gonna cut and measure tubing that's gonna go from your first buckets to your brain controller. And once you have that done and you have the loop completed, now everything is hooked together. We have the reservoir hooked up to the brain controller and the buckets hooked up to the brain controller. Everything's looking pretty good. The last thing that we have to do to complete the setup is we have to take our fabric pots and we're gonna put those in our buckets. Now the great thing about the air cube system is you can use clay pebbles, you can use rock wool, you can use cocoa core, you can use soil. Whatever medium you wanna use, you can definitely use it if you want to. So now we have our air cube system fully hooked up. The only thing that we have to do now is we have to put water in the system and test it to make sure everything is working correctly. But we're actually going to leave that for the next video. This video is just covering how to set up the air cube system. In episode two, we're going to test the system. We're going to put our medium inside the system and we're going to germinate and plant our seeds. And speaking on that, you're probably wondering what exactly we're going to grow for this particular grow. And I decided that we're going to be doing night owl seeds for the first time. I have these night owl seeds. This is outlier Z and the black pack is outlier C. So we're gonna test out some auto flowers in these pots for the first run and we're gonna see how it does. As far as the growing equipment that we're using for this grow, I'm using the Spider Farmer 5x5 tent, the Spider Farmer SE7000 grow light, and the Spider Farmer six inch inline fan with charcoal filter. If you wanna get any of the Spider Farmer equipment, use the code base drop keys to get an 8% discount on their website. I wanna thank Grow Ace for sponsoring this grow. I do have a 5% discount code in the description box if you wanna get your own air cube system. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, peace and good eats. I'm out guys, much love.